Okay, what would be your biggest basketball ick? Oh my gosh, bro. Biggest basketball ick is when you break somebody off and you dish it. Uh huh. Give them a nice little dime piece. Mm, and they Miss Delay. Miss Delay. I agree. Hey. I agree. Okay, and then what's your biggest basketball ick in terms of like the way that like a hooper dresses? If you don't have any crinkles in your socks, what are you doing? Oh, see, I'm like a sock folder over. So like there's a little crinkle. But okay. you pull up. But if you got them straight up, like just, just retire. Retire right now. Welcome back to the Sometimes I Hoop podcast. I'm your host, Haley Jones. Quick humble brag here, 2021 Natty Champ, most outstanding player of the Final Four, All-American, but this is not about me. I'm joined by another walking bucket, the Jordan Horston of Tennessee. Thousand <laughs> point score for the Lady Bulls, just surpassed 400 assists, number two recruit of her recruiting class coming out of high school. Not one, but two USA gold medals. Jordan, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Glad to be here amongst the GOAT, Haley oh, Jones. Like, okay. wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm honored. I'm honored to be here. I feel like something I can always look forward to every year of the college season is playing you guys. It's such yeah, a huge you. rivalry Definitely. year in and year out. But I know we have a vibe when we play y'all, but what what's your energy coming into that game? No, it's always, it's always a battle. It's always a great game, especially for sports and women's sports in general when we play each other because, you know, it's two great teams coming together and from the past and the, like the legacy that each school holds. It's just, you know, it's a fun atmosphere. You know, the fans is going to be involved. The media is going to be there. And this is a great game. Um, honestly, what goes through my head when we play y'all is we have to be locked in because mm -hmm. we have the guard Haley Jones and Cameron Brinks and the people that are just unstoppable. We just got to try to stop them as hard as we can. But no, it's always a fun, uh, always a fun game, especially, you know, playing against my friends and stuff. It's one of the greatest rivalries, I think. And I mean, yeah. you got to be trying to stop us. We be, we be trying to stop y'all too. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's it's the legacy. It's the programs. Mm. It's also like SEC, Pac-12, just two different right. ways of playing. Right. But I feel like our non-conference schedules, both of us this year, were intense. Y'all started out Crazy. at freaking Ohio Crazy. State. Like, y'all were starting hot. Yes. And like, so I know you guys dropped a few earlier in the season, but I feel mm. like it was the teams that might have not been Great right team. then. But now Great they are team. now like playing UCLA and Gonzaga when they're unranked. And now they're both top 15, right. top 20 teams. Like Listen, we played Ohio State. I don't think they were ranked or out there. Like they weren't getting the credit they were supposed to get. Yeah. So it's just like this shows like we're playing great teams. It's just we got to put the pieces together, you know. But I'm, for sure. I can't complain. I can't complain about the schedule because, I mean, that's what you want to do. That's what we're here for is to play those games and, you know, compete. Yeah, I feel like I've really enjoyed seeing in the past few years not non-conference schedules really kind of elevating across the country. Yeah. Like yeah. top teams not shying away from playing other powerhouse programs, which right. is really fun. And you know, you might drop a game early in the season, but it does so much more moving long into time. like Being March, whatever. Time. People are yeah. learning. See, they're learning. They're learning. They're learning. They're learning. You know. <laughs> they're learning. <laughs> but how do you think you guys dealt with those setbacks that you have that you may not have expected or may not wanted? Do you think that you were able to use that as motivation moving Definitely. into the rest of the season? Or do you think that you dwell on it? How do you think the mindset was in the locker room? We knew what our goal was. We knew who we were. We knew like, okay, this one loss doesn't determine our whole season and our whole, like who we are. So it never really rattled us. I mean, we was frustrated because we wasn't winning, but mm -hmm. it was like more of a fueling like type of frustration, if you get what I'm saying. So like, it yeah. was like, okay, we got to figure it out. We got to go hard on this trip. We got to, you know, just putting the pieces together and it was so early. So it's like allowing us to, you know, continue to grow throughout the season and still see like, okay, this is where we were from here and now we're at this point. But um, like I said, this is great for us um, playing those tough games now because we can see who we were very early on and, you know, make changes or, you know, keep doing what we're doing. So, I mean, I feel like it's a blessing and a curse mm -hmm. at the same time. But at the end, like I said, it's all about long term. No, for sure. I mean, Tara tells us this all the time, which sometimes is very annoying, but it's every it's disappointment is a blessing. Nobody likes to lose. But... <laughs> nobody likes to lose. But you do you do learn but a lot from to, losing. You have to, yes, yes. No, for sure. I feel like, you know, in those big non-conference games, so many teams this year made noise that, like, you weren't True. expecting. I feel like there were exactly. so many sleeper teams, especially in yeah. last year's tournament with Creighton and just these random teams just come out mm -hmm. hooping. hooping. What <laughs> team, literally, what team or what players have really – stood out to you at the beginning of this season? Well, I'm going to have to go with UCLA. Mm. 
mm-hmm. because this was like before. I mean, UCLA is always a good program, but they weren't yeah. giving. They wasn't getting the credit that they actually deserved. When I tell you, they came out and was <laughs> they shot the shot the lights out of the ball. Like yeah. honestly, every shot went up. You know how like you have a scout and you be like, okay, mm-hmm. we're gonna give this up. We're gonna let yeah. this player do this. Everybody was hit it, so it was just like <laughs> okay, so we got to change our whole game plan. But I mean, they're they came out hooping, they came out firing. Um, you know, yeah. charisma's a baller. <laughs> Hooper. Hooper, Hooper, man, she's a baller. <laughs> but um, no, I'll have to say UCLA for sure. I feel like so many teams like they come into these games and they can catch you sleeping. If you walk into mm-hmm. a game and it's somebody and you get caught up with their rankings or being like, oh, they lost to this team. We beat this mm-hmm. team already. Right. They come in and they have your name circled. They're like, we're going to come out and show why we're better than this and this mm-hmm. and this. And I feel like there's been so many upsets. Like, I mean, Maryland upsetting UConn at the beginning of the season, Gonzaga yes. over Louisville. I feel like just so many conferences now are deep. I mean, obviously I the Pac-12 being the deepest, but like... <laughs> <laughs> But like, I don't know about know. that one. <laughs> I mean, come on, we five teams in the top twenty-five. That's crazy. Okay, that's y'all, crazy. y'all, all right, y'all, all right, y'all, y'all, y'all up there. But all right, I say no, 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 y'all, y'all, y'all good, y'all good. But I say SEC, they're back to well. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Nah, if we would, no, 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 let's match up SEC to Pac-12. Pac-12 is take the cake. Are West Coast basketball. Fun? I feel like West Coast basketball just be getting looked down on for some reason. But like, we be banging, you know, we be banging <laughs> in there. Like, you got Biggs, you got Cam in the post. Just on my team alone, you got yeah, it's Cam, a different type Lauren, of play, though. It's Brand. a different type of play. The SEC is. is just like a... Mm, mm, mm. Like, it's just <laughs> what, <hard>. is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is that? It's just oh, like no. a... I don't know. It's hard to compare. It's hard to compare. They're both great conferences. I'll give you that. It's hard to compare, but we both know who wins the comparison. Okay. You know, we can agree to disagree on that topic. (laughs) We can just go back and forth. (laughs) All day. Do you feel like there's a difference when you're leaving the non-conference setting and then like the mindset switch that you have to make going into conference play. Cause I feel oh, like yeah. for us, it's like, okay, that was one season. And one season and now it's a next. whole nother season. It's like, this yeah. is building you up for the final season, like the end of like, so, I mean, you have to do well in conference. Like you need to make the tournament. Like that's what yeah. our goal is. I mean, that's what everybody's goal is, is when they go to conference play, it's like, okay, now we got to really lock in and we got to mm-hmm. make things shake right now because we want to have a good spot you know, in the postseason. So it's a whole different field. It's a whole different field of play. So, yeah, it yeah. definitely sets you up for the rest of the season. Mm-hmm. But it's also like, I feel like there's so many rivalries within the conferences that could be yes. like team to team, but then like player to player matchups and then right. like coaches who have been battling for like 20, right. 30 years. Right. And they just, especially when you have players up. like that came from like the schools from the conference. So it just yep. makes it like even more emotional. Like, I don't know. It's just, fun environment i just love those type of games <laughs> yeah so like your team's hitting your stride you guys are on a little hot streak right now conference play hot how are you feeling about it what do you what do you think what are the changes that have been made i'm feeling pretty good you know winning is it's always good to have a win um it's never easy um when every team that you play is always playing their best game against you so it's always good and then two it's good to be winning in our um conference um, finally, it's finally clicking. We're finally figuring out, you know, the things that we need to do and being more consistent with doing those things. And, um, you know, and we're also, we're growing from it um, on and off the court. I feel like it's brought us closer. Um, it allowed us to know wh- what exactly we want to do, um, who exactly we are, like what's our, what's our culture like. Um, mm-hmm. And it showed, you know, who we, who we was, like when things got tough. So, you know, I, I'm happy that we're winning now. I'm happy that we're figuring it out and we still have, you know, things to do if we want to win that, you know, national championship. But I'm excited to see, you know, where we go with that. When did you think you were like, okay, basketball, basketball is going to be my route. Like, I want to dive into this. I want to play college ball, this and that. When did that kind of click for you? So I started off playing like soccer and I did like a whole bunch of other sports. I got grand track. I did cheerleading. Oh um, no, you didn't. <laughs> oh my Listen, god! I was. I started off with cheer. I started off with cheer. I was actually really good at cheer. Like I was cheer captain, and I was. I, I need. I'm gonna text your mom. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna get a picture. Up. Lord, I should have said that.
What do you think is your favorite story from USA, either that U16 year, that U17 year? Do you have a favorite memory with the teams at practice winning? I feel like I definitely have one. I don't, I don't know if we'll have the same one, but I know I do. And I'd love to hear if we've Okay. Seen. So I got one, I got one experience. I don't, I wouldn't say it was fun at the time, okay. but looking back on it, it was just crazy. Was you in the elevator when we got stuck? No. You wasn't in the elevator? Oh my gosh. Uh-huh. So we was all in the elevator. It was me, Zaya, Paige, Caitlin. Um, it was like one of those small elevators, like you know. <laughs> only four of us could really fit but it was like we stacked it and it got stuck and we was just all on there and, and I know Kayla was freaking out and Paige was jumping up and down and it was just it was just crazy was just oh crazy. no ma'am see I was that that's good I hate <laughs> I can't do the close faces I was thinking on you 17 year when after we won all the other teams got to go and then we tried to go oh <laughs> well they was they was running up on us so no, that was crazy. We were trying to, yeah, all the other teams, we were the ones that won. And so we were I like, know. oh, France is inviting us to come hang out with them and this and that. So we're walking down the streets of Belarus. Oh, we got caught. <laughs> we were we caught. caught. And so little did we no, know. It was crazy. Little did we know. We walked right by the coach's restaurant and they're just looking out the window, seeing their little 16 year old team walking down the streets of Belarus. And I'm like, oh no. Right as we step up in there with France and Spain. And then they had, they were trying to out. give us drinks and stuff. We were like, no. We were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not legal where we're from. <laughs> Where's the apple cider? It was Oh bad. God, that was funny. That but was we, funny. We we made it there for about two minutes. And then we now, were pulled do you remember? Hotel. Do you remember when we had got off the bus and like all those teams was just like yes like, trying to like run us like run us over like yes was I was crazy. like was we like, just beat y'all yeah. and now you want our autographs like it was crazy I remember uh, Molly was over trying to teach us some still. dance <laughs> yeah Molly was trying to teach us some like cultural dance I was like what I don't please I don't know what's going on I need to shower like um, yeah. I have other things to do <laughs> but that was, no, that crazy. was crazy once you play USC basketball it kind of puts you on a different type of map. Mm. And like, it's like now you're a USA player, this and that. And so then we go to the McDonald's All-American game together, we Jordan mm. Brand together, and then we commit. I go to Stanford and you end up choosing Tennessee, but mm. it was under other coach. It was under, under Coach yeah, Holly. Probably, yeah. What were the other schools that you were looking at at the time that made it so difficult to choose Tennessee? Like, what mm. were those What were those other ones? What were the final few? So my final five was here, well, Tennessee, um, Ohio State, Mm-hmm. North Carolina, South Carolina, and UConn. Gotcha. That's my top five. Okay. And then Tennessee took the cake. Tennessee took the cake. You said that even when Coach Harper came, that didn't mm-hmm. make you sway. So what was that like? Like hearing that your coach is leaving the woman that recruited you, this and that. Right. And then all of a sudden you have a new random lady, basically. You're like, I don't know you. Now you're going to come <laughs> and kind of like lead me on this journey through my college right. experience and to help me go pro what was that experience no, like it was crazy it was crazy like I didn't know what I was going to do um mm-hmm. but like I said I just I prayed about it um and I remember you might I'm like when I pray and stuff I'd be like trying to look for like like really listening out and so and I remember I was at school and um so at school like you know how when you have like sherbets and like um chips and stuff that you can buy them at your school or whatever. So I'm yeah. I'm buying the, the stuff at the school. And like, meanwhile, this is all going on. Like, this is all happening. The coaches is just like, let go. I'm still deciding if I want to, you know, still go to Tennessee or if I should, you know, open my recruitment back up and I go to buy um, some hot Cheetos. Mm. And then when I sit down at the table, like I had a one and they gave me like some quarters back and I look at the quarters and it says Tennessee on it. So I'm just like, no okay. Way. Like, I swear, I still got the quarters. I swear, like my, my family still got them. And I was like, okay, this got to be a sign. So I was like, yeah. okay, I'm just going to stick it out. And plus I already like said I was going to go there and I was like, you know, I ain't even been down there yet. So I might as well, you know, still see what it's about because I, I still vibe with the players. I still vibe with, you know, the atmosphere. And it was just, I don't know. I just thought I could, I would see it through. So. Yeah, the the answers were in the hot Cheetos. That's no, that's like a, real, I was like, I took a picture of. I could send you the picture too after this. I took oh a picture God. of it, and it was just crazy. It was crazy. That, I've never heard something like that. Like, no, yeah, it, it was a quarter. That is a sign. Tennessee on it, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. man, I ain't never seen that before. I was like, it's got to be. It's got to be a sign. Like, no, that's crazy. You know? What do you remember about 
your first game? Because I feel like Tennessee is one of just the pillars Ooh, of women's game. basketball in general, right? And so you're first there, game. the history, Pat Summit, the fans, the staff, the program, just everything about Tennessee is just history. Definitely. What was your first game like playing in that bright orange, which is so iconic? <laughs> I was a deer in headlights, mm -hmm. <laughs> just trying to just make it. I don't know. Uh, I really don't remember who we played first, but I just remember just running out that tunnel and it just was like, I felt like a rush. It's like a rush. It's like all these people's here. Um, they stacked the they stacked the stands every every game. So yeah. it was like great show out. Um, and I was just happy to be there. Honestly, like I was just <laughs> happy to be there, just running along, just <laughs> like I said, just doing your thing, just doing <laughs> <laughs> playing basketball, trying to survive. And then I the game slowed down for me, so uh, I adjusted. Yeah, so you really got to dive in. Mm. Um, I remember, you know, my first game at Stanford. It was crazy. I think mm. my first game we play, we hosted when the Olympic team did that little like college tour. Oh, that was my yeah. first game. And oh, so wow. I remember we're going through the scouting report, and I was like, "Yeah, Haley, uh, you, you're gonna guard Diana." I said, "You, Diana, huh? Yeah. You, you, what do you expect me to do?" And then she's like, "Oh." Fran, you're gonna get Britney. Brit Britney. Grinder? <laughs> Ain't no way we talk about the same Britney. What? And so, That's like, crazy. I did not know that. We're going that through. That was your scout. first game, your first college game? Yeah. How I was, was like, going? oh my God, we lost. But it was only about like <laughs> it was only about like 15. So it was a win. And so I remember right. just going through this scout and we're like watching film like it's any other team. And I'm like, we're watching film of these WNBA All-Stars. Like we're watching That's their crazy. Olympic basketball film. But I feel like that college game, that first college game, the energy, the the nerves. Like I never yeah. get nervous for games, but I was like jitters. I, was I like, know oh, it was like a yeah. rush. Like I don't know, yeah, because yeah. it's like it's something that you dream about for so long, and then all yeah. of a sudden it's happening. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jordan. So we're gonna enter our last little section here. We like to call it the vibe check here on Sometimes I Hoop. We're gonna do a little rapid fire section around basketball. So we're gonna start off with what's the one drill you never want to see on the practice plan? Laker layups. What's Lake of Layups? <laughs> that was quick. I gotta hear. What is it? All right, Lake of Layups is like a it's like a three man weave, but like it's like full court and you have to like mm -hmm. pass it to this person and then pass it back. And the person in this line has to run all the way down. You throw yeah. it, and they gotta run around the cone and throw it. It's just it's so, see it's any a lot type of, of weave, any type yeah. of weave, you can miss me. I'm not I'm not dude. <laughs> please. Any type full of weave court, I'm done. And it's a sprint. Yeah, a it's always a sprint. It's always a sprint. So would you rather have a game winning shot or a game winning block? Um game winning block. Okay. Uh and, and it's like one, a different type of, you know. It is. It's like I'm a big body. Like, yeah. I'm with you. Okay. Would you rather have an and one or a three pointer? And one. Oh, easy. And right. One. And one. I'm yeah. I'm yelling at your foul. Like, <laughs> um, Even if it's not a foul. And one. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What is your go to trash talk line in a game? Go <laughs> Let's hear it. I can't say it. It's a cuss word in it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Give me your PG. Give me your right. PG version. So if I block somebody's shot, I'd be like, I'd be like, give me that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Give me that. Got you. Who's yeah, the fuzz? You feel me? Okay. You feel me? I feel like I just kind of be like, mm, too little. Because I'll be having these little, little guards guarding me. And baby. I'm like, mm, baby. Exactly. Baby. I, I'd be like, Gerber. Gerber, that's baby food. <laughs> Gerber, that'd be mine. Yo, that's new. That's new. That, I heard that one. Yeah. That's tough. That, that's kind of been passed down through the Stanford ranks. Not okay. Gerber. Gerber. Um, cool. Okay. Ice pack or ice bath? Ice pack. Oh, my God. I can't do ice bath. I hate ice baths. Oh, girl. Okay. What is your go-to move on the court? Go-to move? Oh, I can't say too much. Can't say Come on. Like, Give no, us um, something. My go-to move, like when I'm in an isolation, Mm -hmm. Um, I probably have a ball screen. I go between the legs, and the, like the uh, Jamal Crawford twin legs mm. cross, twin cross, twin cross, Point twin point. cross. Yeah. I feel like that reminds me of those old fillet videos about twin cross. <laughs> Has he fillet? Yay! The whole Skip thing. The <laughs> nah. Exactly. Um. Okay. Hardest place to play on the road. LSU. Uh -huh. When I tell you that is like one of the hardest places to win at. Really? Like, it's just like something about their gym it just like drains you. Like I don't know. Yeah. Like it's just it's hard to explain. It's just like really hard to win in that building. What college has the best facilities? 
Can I say ours? <laughs> no, you can say yours. I was gonna say it's not ours. You were there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like ours. we got some nice facilities. I feel like y'all do have nice facilities. facilities. Uh, y'all, y'all are nice. And then last one for you. What is your best impersonation or best line of Coach Harper? She'd be like, You guys are missing the chippies. Urgency. <laughs> or, or, urgency. <laughs> you guys have urgency. Be aware. <laughs> her favorite word is urgency. That's her favorite. Like, urgency. Literally okay. it's urgency. Like I've never heard urgency as much as I've had since I've oh, here. So I feel that. See, one of Tar's best ones. Is whenever like somebody messes up a play mm. or they mess out the scout, she gonna stop the whole practice. She goes, you know what, Haley? The S doesn't stand for stupid. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What? It's crazy. No. That's her favorite one. And like everybody who's come from the program, we can all relate. It's like, yeah, S don't stand she's for stupid. Two. Get she's, together. She didn't say that one. Okay. Oh yeah, it's 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 a historically ten out of ten line for her. Gotcha. <laughs> but right. you know jordan this has been so much fun i've oh, loved yes, having you on the pod thank, thank you, you for so much me. for coming yes of course love I'm getting honored to spend time I'm with honored you. okay love getting to spend time with you this has been the sometimes i hoop podcast we will be back every week with a new guest following the latest on women's college basketball all right thank you this is kaya hey hi kaya it is jojo my teammates. Hey. I know she for she for real. Oh, hey, it's Haley Jones, man. Jordan. <laughs>